On this video, it shows you step by step on how to repaste, how to change the thermal pads, and thickness of the thermal pads, how to replace and clean the cooling fans. It's me again, take that screw out. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, please consider subscribing and click that thumbs up icon and notification bell. So if there's new video coming out, you'll be the first one to be notified. Check the description below for the equipment and tools I've used in this video, which is available to purchase in Amazon in United Kingdom and Amazon in United States. So this card is a brand new, so you have to do a quick unboxing. So this card is brand new so all the thermal pads and the paste inside is still stuck from the manufacturer. So still sealed. Let's begin the tutorial. First screwdriver that I'm going to use is the Wowstick electric screwdriver and the bits is a Phillips screw VH1 and then also I'm going to use a Phillips screwdriver that is is equivalent to VH1. Here's the first option. If you want to remove the fan to replace the fan or to clean the fan, if you want to remove it totally, what you're going to do is to you don't need to unscrew this four screw here at the back. What you're going to do is unscrew these four tiny screw on the side. This one here there's one tiny screw here, one, two, there's second one here, two, and there's one other side, other two and other side, three, and four. That's what you're gonna unscrew using a screwdriver like this one, it's a long, long screwdriver. Creeping up from the heathens, got will, got fight, got pride, got reason. If they want to go eat, then you know I'm gonna feed them. If you come up for me, okay. So the front shroud is already come off, so pay attention with the front shroud because it's still attached to the two fan connector, is still attached to the PCB. The second option, if, if you just want to change the thermal pads and repaste the GPU, what you're gonna do is just to remove these four big screws, that's all. First, I'm gonna show you this fan. So to remove the fan, I recommend to use this kind of tools. If you're interested in this kind of tools, you can just check the link in the description below for Amazon UK and United States. So to remove the two fan connector, just grip this one. With this tool ready for a demon I got eyes in the back of my head I'm seeing take me for granted and you know I'm leaving I'm gonna take what's mine with the webs I'm weaving always be careful removing the wire connector because the wire is so thin and small so it can break a rip easily so now we have to do the fan first attached to the fan is three screw you can access the three screw here at the top so I'm going to remove that one for you so that you could see the fan number just in case if you need to replace it the one on my right is the one the white color and the other one the black one is on the left so this is the part number of both of the fans this one is the first one and the one on my right is this one so they are they are identical except except for the color of the connector so the connectors is actually identical as well except for the color 
So if you if the one of the fan is broken, you can just buy either left or right. They are identical actually. It doesn't matter which color. You can buy a black or white color. It doesn't matter. They are just exactly the same connector. So so that's the that's about the fan. So I don't need to totally remove this one. So I've already shown you the part number and how to remove it. And this is the second option. If you just want to change the thermal pads or repaste, you don't need to take off this one. You don't need to unscrew full tiny screw on the side. All you're gonna do is just unscrew this four big screw. This four big screw that holds the heat sink. And then carefully detach the heat sink from the PCB. That's it. And this is the PCB, but the back plate is still attached to the PCB. So to remove the back plate, back plate you have to unscrew eight screw. One, two, three, four, five, six, and this two from attached from the small heat sink. Six, seven, eight. So we have to unscrew first the small heat sink. So the small heat sink, it has a thermal pads underneath, and then unscrew the six screw. Push forward through the tough times, cause anything worth doing is a tough climb. And I ain't gonna give up, got too little time, I'ma live up. So the back plate has been unscrewed. So there's the back plate. The back plate is made of plastic, doesn't dissipate heat, so there's no thermal pads underneath. So that's the back plate. So we have to measure the thickness of the thermal pads. The tools that I'm going to use to measure the pads is called the Vernier Digital Caliper. If you're interested in one of these, just check in the description below. There's a link for Amazon UK and US. So the thermal pads for the VRAM, this four is the VRAM. And this one is the VRMs. So the thermal pads is so I'll show you. This is the thickness of the pads. If you could see it. That's exactly one millimeter for the VRAM. And for this little heat sink, there's uh, pads underneath for these chips here, this black one. Exactly the same thickness. It's one millimeter. So have to clean the residue of the thermal paste. Cleaning the thermal paste, I recommend to use a 99.9% of isopropyl alcohol. So I don't need to replace this thermal paste because it's brand new, it's very fresh and still very good. So there's no need to change it. So if you just wonder, this blue tool that I'm going to use, this is called a prying tools. So I've got two, I've got two of these. I will put the link in the description below as well, if you're interested for this one. It's called prying tools. And this one is called a tweezer. So brush it with just normal paintbrush. Make sure it's clean and there's no leftover for the residue. 
before you put a fresh thermal paste make sure it's already dry so that's the good thing of using a 99.9% .9 of alcohol it dries up and dissipate very quickly just a few seconds and it's dry up so now it's already dry just remove this sticking residue and I think it's already been done so I will move this one to its original position here so this four is the VRAMs Creeping up from the heathens Got will, got fight, got pride, got reason If they want to go eat Then you know I'm gonna feed them If you're coming for me Hope you're ready for it So now it's clean So the thermal pads on this one is still very good So it doesn't need to replace with a new one So it's time to put it back together So first make sure the back plate is clean The first thing to do is to attach the back plate Make sure is the screw hole is attached, aligned properly. That's the eighth screw. So what I normally do when I screw it in back is to crisscross pattern. First one here, second one here, third, fourth, and the, the rest will follow. And then, just a reminder, when you screwed in, especially with plastic, not so tight. Just snug fit because plastic could break easily. So next is the small heatsink. So you can just put a hitching like that or do the other way around. That's it. And then for the thermal paste that I'm going to use for this video is the SYY thermal paste. And I also have a good recommendation to you for the other brand which is really good that I've used in the past but I don't have available at this moment Arctic MX6 or the Noctowa NTH2 they're a really good thermal paste this one SYY also a very good one when you put in a thermal paste don't put too much don't put too little just just enough to cover the GPU die so not too much that one is just enough so when you attach the heat sink to the PCB make sure you have to pay attention with these four holes there and make sure it aligns to the other hole what we're gonna do is just, I'll just keep holding the heat sink and the back plate together and then put the screw in So next, I have to put it back the fan. So make sure to install the fan back. Make sure the fan is aligned and sit properly in the front shroud. Otherwise, it could cause problem like a vibration. So make sure the screw hole aligns properly. very handy to use a screwdriver like this which is magnetic make sure you check the rotation of the fan if that doesn't catches in the screw or in the side looks perfect so the second one so make sure it's totally flat and is aligned
check the other fan. It looks okay. So make sure the wire is tucked in so that it could not cause any problem. But this one is quite loose. So it's time to attach the front shroud to the heatsink. And first before you attach the front shroud you have to connect the both of the fan connector. So you can't go wrong with it because it's color coded. The white one goes to the white, the black one goes to the black. You don't need the tools to connect this fan connector. You just use your finger to push it in. So both of the fan connector is attached. You have to check, make sure, check again the wire that sits in place. By the way, to attach the front shroud to the heatsink, these four mounting points here, this will go inside the first plate of the heatsink, so this will go inside. So pay attention with that. From the heathens, got will, got fight, got pride, got reason. If they want to go eat, then you know I'm gonna feed them. If you're coming for me, hope you're ready for a demon. I got eyes in the back of my head, I'm seeing when you screw it in. Make sure your left hand or your right hand, one of your hands, will keep on holding it before you grab the screw. Take me for granted, and you know I'm leaving. I'm gonna take what's mine with the webs I'm weaving. I could take this. And then what I'm gonna do is crisscross. I've done this, so I'll do the other side, the opposite side. Shop so freezing, so cold. The whole frostbite they feeling. I could tear you apart, or I could go heal them. Don't believe in fate, don't believe in ceilings. I just need a taste, and my mind starts feeling. I don't pace myself, I grind on kneeling. Got lust for change, I just love the feeling. Uh. Dying gonna give up. It's all done. So make sure to check everything, the connector of the fan, make sure it's pushed in properly. So check again the rotation of the fan, make sure it's free. And then visually checks all the screw, the screw of the fan, three, three. I think it's all done. So just a recap. If you want to, to clean the fan or just remove the fan to replace a broken one or to totally clean the blades. If you want to remove the totally the whole fan. So what you're gonna screw is four screw this side, the one on the side, the small screw, the long screw, one, two, three, four. So that's all you're gonna unscrew and then also the three screw in each fan at the top here. You can access from here. So that's all we're gonna do. But the second option is if you just want to change the thermal pads and repaste, you don't need to take off the fan. So what you're gonna do is just full screw. One, two, three, four. And you can take off, detach the heat sink from the PCB and change your thermal pads and thermal paste. That's all. That's the end of the tutorial. If you did enjoy and find this video helpful, Please consider subscribing and support my channel. Share this video so it could help others too. And click that thumbs up icon. It's going to be appreciated to help this channel to make more helpful tutorial videos like this one in the future. Thank you so much for watching. Got too little time on my liver.